is a planet of water. However, we human beings can use only 0.2% of all water on the Earth. Having polluted and wasted the water, mankind now faces a serious water crisis. Various individuals and organizations around the world have begun using beneficial microorganisms, known as EM, to purify water resources. EM has been shown effective in improving the environments of ponds and lakes, rivers and the seas. As is recently reported by the United Nations, the water crisis we face today is grave and global. It is why EM is drawing attention in various countries as an answer for purifying water resources. Water is purified by the soil in natural cycles. This process is essential to the provision of water for all life. Water purification with EM originally began with its application to crops and the soil. Various data show the effectiveness of EM. Toxic chemicals accumulated in the soil were reduced. Their amounts being absorbed by crops were also reduced. EM technology was developed in 1982 by Dr. Tedo Higa, professor at the University of the Ryukyus. It is now being recognized as a technology which brings out the potential power of nature through usage of beneficial microorganisms and is currently produced in 45 countries around the world. EM technology satisfies various requirements for healthy and sustainable agriculture. EM has been certified in several countries as an organic material or an organic additive for animal feed. Organic farming using EM restores the inherent power of soil and increases crop production. Tests have shown that EM has increased the yield of wheat by up to 30%. EM has also increased the amount of fruit juice of, for example, oranges. When used for crop cultivation, EM purifies not only the soil, but also the water coming out of it. The water circulates in nature and nurtures crops again. We believe there are five requirements for agriculture, for mankind and earth. It must conform to nature and protect the environment. It must produce quality food to enhance human health. It must be beneficial to both farmers and consumers. It must be sustainable and easily practiced. It must produce enough food for an expanding world population. By reviving nature with the power of beneficial microorganisms, EM technology enables farming systems to satisfy all these requirements. The maximum cost of EM is about 6 yen or 5 US cents per liter in Japan. With EM at this cost, a farmer can make enough EM fertilizer for 10 acres of orchard for one year. This equals more than 100 apple trees or more than 70 tangerine trees. EM is safe to use, comfortable to use, low cost and produces high quality crops. Anybody anywhere in the world can use EM abundantly and sustainably. EM is a complex culture solution of safe and beneficial microorganisms such as lactic acid bacteria photosynthetic bacteria and yeast. The microorganisms in EM are found in regions anywhere in the world. The range of EM applications is diverse. For example, EM is used for converting waste cooking oil into soap. 
and kitchen garbage into fertilizer. Various recycled materials are produced with EM by local governments, NGOs, and businesses. These materials too contribute to purifying the soil and waters. EM is now used around the world for improving food production, recycling organic resources, and purifying polluted waters. In Pakistan, 80% of food production depends on irrigation water from the Indus. The country is now extensively studying EM. In Punjab, a region in northeastern Pakistan, soil salinization is seriously affecting crop production. EM was found to be effective in improving crop production in such a soil. By treating with EM, animal waste can be converted into an odorless safe fertilizer. The yield of wheat was increased more than before. And the cost of using EM is less than pesticides and chemical fertilizers. In Thailand, royal projects are being carried out for establishing a self-sufficient economy. In one of the projects, a self-sufficient farming system is promoted. The Bureau of the Royal Household and major businesses are using EM for this system. The Royal Thai Army also supports EM farming, and their soldiers even go abroad to teach this farming system. Shrimp farming is one of the major industries in Thailand. It also benefits from EM. EM has greatly improved the quality of shrimps, as well as the water quality of shrimp ponds. In Egypt, the supply of water totally depends on the Nile. Its water is the only lifeline for a total of about 160 million people in Egypt, the Sudan, and Ethiopia. In Egypt, recycling systems using EM are being developed. In this system, city waste is converted into fertilizer, and wastewater is recycled for irrigation. This project is carried out by the Ministry of Agriculture and Land Reclamation and the Ministry of State for Environmental Affairs. In Europe, the degradation and pollution of land and water due to pasturing is a serious problem. Chemical fertilizer for growing pasture is feared to cause the pollution of groundwater. In the Netherlands, where land is very limited, groundwater pollution due to animal waste is also serious. EM solves these problems. EM is mixed in feed for poultry. The degradation of pastures has been prevented by converting animal waste into a quality fertilizer. And wastewater is purified. A study done at Wageningen Agricultural University has shown that cattle manure treated with EM is effective in growing pasture and grain. China depends on irrigation for 70% of its food production. A rapid industrialization, however, has caused a serious pollution of rivers and lakes. The country is now confronted with a water crisis. In Guangxi Zhuang, EM was used to purify factory wastewater. It resulted in a reduction of BOD by more than 90%. EM is now drawing attention in the national project that will bring water through a canal from the Yangtze River to the northern region. Factory wastewater has been successfully treated with EM for irrigation, which has resulted in increased yields of crops. The Republic of Kenya in East Africa. In April 2003,
the project for improvement of the environmental health in Tibera slum will start. About 800,000 people live in this slum, located in a suburb of Nairobi. EM will be used for improving the residents' health and sanitation. Sewage will be treated with EM to improve sanitation in the slum. Officials of the government hope this will reduce the foul smell spreading in town. In order to prevent infectious diseases and to improve residents' health, EM will be sprayed to sewage ponds. The Kenyan government and the supporting NPO hope that the slums' residents will regain a self-sufficient community by learning efficient recycling systems using EM. Japan, where EM was developed. In various places nationwide, EM is being used to purify waters. The economic effect of EM was the largest at the Ariake Sea and the Seto Inland Sea. The Seto Inland Sea was once a treasure house of marine products. Complex tidal flows and many rivers made the sea rich with minerals. Japan's rapid industrialization, however, severely polluted the sea. The result was a continuous decrease of fish catches, which seriously affected the fishing industry. The movement to purify the sea with EM started among residents in the area. They realized that each resident was responsible for the polluted sea and started the challenge of reviving the sea. Wastewater from marine product factories was treated with EM. Household wastewater was drained together with EM. These activities soon bore fruit. Sludge and gutters decreased and fish catches started to increase. Along with these results, the movement expanded gradually. Many residents and groups joined then university researchers, then local governments. Eventually, the network for reviving the Seto Inland Sea environment was formed, involving various sectors in the society. Reviving nature with microorganisms, the smallest life forms. The beneficial microorganisms of EM can transform the water polluted with chemicals. The soil polluted with pesticides and chemical fertilizers. And the garbage produced in our daily lives into the power to purify nature. For the coexistence of human beings and earth, it is necessary for each one of us to act and cooperate with others. And it has already started around the world.